Hello and welcome students to the section 12 Android pen testing lab setup and overview. Now in this section we are going to take a look at various points. First of all we will learn about Android pen testing scope, then about Android pen testing overview and then finally we will create a lab setup for Android. Download and install Android Studio. In this video we are going to take a look at couple of points that how you can download Android Studio and how you can install it inside your system. So now I'm going to show you that how you can download it from internet. So open google.com and uh, you can download it inside your main operating system. If you have Windows operating system, then you can download Android Studio. Otherwise, you can install it inside your VMware Windows 10 machine. If you have Windows 10 in main OS, then you can download it in the main OS. Doesn't matter. All right. So let me show you that how because I am using Windows 10 machine in main OS. So I'm going to download inside my main operating system. So guys, I'm here at google.com and on Google, you can type download Android Studio and hit enter. So this is the official website to download Android Studio. Click here and open the official website. Here it is. So Android Studio is basically around 790 MB file. It can take time in the downloading process if you don't have a good internet connection. So you can click on download Android Studio. You need to select I have read the agreement and click download Android for Windows. So click here. So here it is 790 MB file. Click save file and your Android Studio is going to download inside the system. You just need to wait here for the completion of download process so guys I have downloaded Android Studio here and uh, this is just installer so you, do, you need to double click on it and install Android Studio inside your system so you, you just need to double click on this installer and uh, you need to install this Android Studio inside your operating system so you need to click run and it will start installing inside your windows operating system so this is the way that how you can install this inside your windows system you just need to wait until the installation completes so guys uh, android studio has been installed inside my system i'm assuming that you guys have also downloaded and installed it inside your windows system now let me show you that how it looks like when you will open it so you just need to search here android studio after the installation procedure you need to search your android studio click on this and it will open up like this so this is android studio we have installed it successfully inside our windows operating system so the work is done now uh, let me show you that how you can create avds inside it so you can click on tools and you can see that AVD manager is available here. So click on AVD manager, right? Now uh, I have already Nexus AVD, but I'm going to show you because if you have installed a fresh Android Studio, so you won't get anything here. So you need to create a virtual device, right? So how you can create a virtual device? You can click here plus click on phone and then you can search for Nexus 5X, 5.2 size, 1080 multiplied by 1920, 420 DPI, right? Select it, click next, and do you, you need to select that to what kind of Android you need. For example, you can download the audio version, right, for x86. So you can click download here, and uh, then you need to proceed. So click here, download, and it will download from here. So you need to select accept, click next. And it will download everything from here. So you just need to wait. Basically, it can take several minutes to download this inside your Windows system. So if your internet connection is good, then it will download and install easily, right? So you just need to wait here, right? It is downloading inside your system. So guys, when you will completely download that, then you can see here that it will look like this after the completion of download process. So you can see that 8.4 GB size on disk. So the download process may be 6 to 7 GB or 8 GB. And after that, it will look like this. So our work is complete here. The virtual device has been downloaded inside our Android Studio. Now you can close this 
and close your Android Studio. All right. So guys, uh, now I'm going to show you that how you can check that your virtual device is available or not. So you can open your C drive. Inside C drive, you can check users. Inside ASDF, inside dot Android, inside ASDF is my username. So check your username. Click on that username then dot android then click avd and here you can see that these two files are available here it means we have successfully installed our virtual machine and now i'm going to use these machines to start the android phone inside my windows operating system so that this is all about the downloading process and installation procedure of android phone and virtual nexus virtual device inside it now we will continue in the next video that how you can use this virtual machine to start android phone so this is all about the installation procedure and in the next video we will learn that how you can start android phone in android studio thank you